But Jack, I just need to um, start things off by letting you know that don't worry. Carl and Laz are totally having your back during these interviews. Oh um, no, no. I oh, great. Cool. Totally. One, two, three, hit it. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for season two because you guys left us off on such a big cliffhanger that really deviated from the graphic novels. Carl, let's dive right into Butcher. So what's your big plan? Uh, we'll take them foot. There we go. And I get my wife back. We're in. Of course we're in. Yeah, uh, when we meet Butcher at the beginning of season two, uh, upon the back of that revelation in season one, uh, he's a lot more desperate, uh, he's vulnerable, um, dangerous, and he needs the boys in order to help him find his wife. And everything uh, is viewed through that lens. And, you know, really the question is, how far is Billy Butcher willing to go uh, in order to get his wife back? Um, so, it, and sort of the journey re really leads him on a very deep and personal journey that sort of forces Butcher to take a good, cold, hard look in the mirror. Yeah, I feel like if we were to continue with Butcher's Spice Boys analogy, he's like scary as hell Spice right now, but Laz totally. is like the spice that holds everyone together. <laughs> Laz is posh, MM is posh Spice for sure, you know, meticulous and clean and washing the hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Huey would be baby spice and French Holy ginger. And obviously Kimiko is sporty spice. Sporty spice. Totally. Ain't you twice lucky that I showed up. You guys get to get away with so much on this show. All hail Amazon for the things that you guys get to do. Uh, was there ever a moment in season two when you looked around and you're like, I cannot believe this is happening? Yeah, I think probably that point where we are uh, sitting deep inside a sperm whale uh, covered in blood and guts that I'm like, okay, this is something new for the history of television. Um, this will, will go down in the annals of history as uh, one of those shows. Um, <laughs> uh, what are the know, and this show shows? is constantly giving us material that, you know, we never thought that would ever end up uh, uh, on anybody's screen. Um, but welcome to the boys. <laughs> I'd say mm -hmm. Eric Kripke kicked our asses in season two. Like, kicked our asses. Like, this was one of those seasons where I went home feeling old. Like, I was, I was <laughs> like, like Yeah, totally. Right? It, but, you, this season has given Jack Quaid a uh, now lifelong fear of boats. Uh, right. Eric Kripke put him in a speedboat that I was driving. And, uh, and let me tell you, we were going fast. We were jumping waves and, you know, Jack's raised in Hollywood. I don't know if they've ever been on the water before, led a, a boat that's airborne. Um, you know, he had a safety word that he had to scream out if he ever felt unsafe. And, apparent, and it was Carl. And, and apparently he was like, I was, you know, driving along and we're jumping waves and, and he was going, Carl, Carl, Carl. And I couldn't see his face because he's facing forward. And I couldn't hear him because there was a helicopter shooting us and the sound of the engine. But I remember at the end one, of one run looking over at, Laz and he was fine to look over at Jack and he is white as a sheet and and, and and I thought he was just like seasick or something but no he's actually in mortal fear of his very life and so he's like I'm tapping out so you guys go ahead you guys go ahead I'm good I got another Jack story bad. so uh in season two uh we introduced Terror Carl's, uh, well, Butcher's dog. Yeah. And uh, Terror, uh, the real dog's name is Bentley, and you can follow him on Instagram. He has his own Instagram page, Bentley Alexander. Um, he was casted because he's very popular on YouTube from his humping videos. So he was casted off of YouTube. He humps this, this pink pig incessantly, nonstop, and that's his hump pig. Well, uh, in the script, he's supposed to be humping a parrot. And so when Jack and I get on set, we see this cute little dog, we're playing with him. Jack picks up this pig and he's like playing with the pig and he's tossing it around and he's hugging it. And he's, he's hugging it, he's like, like snuggling it up to his face. I mean, he's got it in his face. He's like doing everything with the pig. And then right before we shoot, Jack's like, no, no, wait, 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 wait. We need the parrot. And they're like, what parrot? 
He's like, well, the parrot that he's supposed to hump on. They're like, oh, you know what? He wouldn't hump the parrot, but so we just decided to bring his pig because that's his hump toy. And Jack's like, which pig? They're like, the pig that you're holding right now. <laughs> whole time. Jack was sitting there like he's just completely immersed himself with this pig. And he's looking at his hands and he's got, oh my God, I thought that was earwax. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh and, and of course, okay, he I had can't to... even ask follow-up questions to that because I know that we're way out of time. But thank you <laughs> so much, Laz, for that. I cannot wait to go talk to Jack right now and be like, they were just dunking on you the whole time. <laughs> and right now, we're in a little bit of trouble. Are you with us? We have so much to talk about, but Jack, I just need to... Um, start things off by letting you know that don't worry, Carl and Laz are totally having your back during these interviews. Oh um, no, no. I, don't worry, I don't know anything about what really happened on the boat or the stuffed oh, pig or the fact just... that you're baby spice. I'm, I'm okay being baby spice, first of all. Let me just say that on the record. All good with that. I just know that on that end of the interview spectrum, they are just roasting me. That's every day on set is just okay. constant roasting, but it's an honor because they're both incredible. Of course, and, uh, of course. <laughs> and I just, it's my life now, so sure. Yeah, <laughs> You'll love it. I won't love it, I never love it. Never love it. Noted.